good morning viewer welcome to our fusak tv yes here is the alarming news for india seven us lawmakers right to pompeo raise concern on pharma protest in india a group of seven influential us lawmakers including indian american congressman pramila jaypal have written to secretary of state mike pompeo urging him to raise the issue of farmers protest in india with his indian counterpart now another bad news for america the uk based center for economics and business research that is called cebr said china's careful management of covid-19 would boost its relative growth compared to the us and europe in coming years Meanwhile, India is tipped to become the third largest economy by 2030. The CBR releases its economic leak table every year on 26 December. Although China was the first country hit by COVID-19, it controlled the disease through swift and extremely strict action, meaning it did not need to repeat economically paralyzing lockdowns as European countries have done. as a result unlike other major economics it has avoided an economic recession in 2020 and is in fact estimated to see growth of 2% this year the us economy by contrast has been hit hard by the world worst coronavirus epidemic in terms of severe numbers more than 3 lakhs 30000 people have died in the us and there have been some 18.5 million confirmed cases The economic damage has been cushioned by monetary policy and a huge fiscal stimulus but political disagreements over a new stimulus package could leave around 14 million Americans without unemployment benefit payments in the new year for some time an overarching theme of global economics has been the economic and soft power struggle between the united states and china says the cebr report the covid-19 pandemic and corresponding economic fallout have certainly tipped this rivalry in china's favor the report says that after a strong post pandemic rebound in 2021 the us economy will grow by about 1.9% annually from 2022 to 2024 and then slow to 1.6% in the years after that by contrast the chinese economy is tipped to grow by 5.7% annually until 2025 and 4.5% annually from 2026 to 2030 china's shares of the world economy has risen from just 3.6% in 2000 to 17.8% now and the country will become a high income economy by 2023 the report says the chinese economy is not only benefiting from having control covid 19 early but also aggressive policy making targeting industries like advanced manufacturing said cebr deputy chairman douglas mac williams they seem to be trying to have centralized control at one level but quite a free market economy in other ideas he told the bbc and it is the free market bit that's helping them move forward particularly in areas like technical but the average chinese person will remain far poorer in financial terms than the average american even after china becomes the world's biggest economy given that chinese population is four times bigger in other prediction the post brexit uk economy will grow by 4% annually and from 2021 to 2025 and 1.8% annually from 2026 to 2030 after sinking in 2020 india had overtaken the uk as the fifth biggest economy in 2019 but has slipped behind it again due to pandemic's impact it won't take over again until 2024 the cebr says 
India's economy will go on to overtake Germany in 2027 and Japan 2030. BN Dasifort, Fosak TV USA.